You're watching News 8. Well, I'm certainly pleased to welcome Brian Callahan, the president for the Flower City Down Syndrome Network, back to the program. Brian, it's always great to see you. Thank you for having me, Mark. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, October 13th, is a very big day. Uh, once again, your buddy walk at a new uh, place this year over at the uh, Field House, the Gordon Field House at RIT. Yes. So uh, exciting. A new venue is always exciting. And I know you've got a fun day planned. Uh, yeah. Tell folks about it. You know, it's really, it's, you know, it's a walk. It's our main fundraiser for the year. It's our... Um, only one. We'd like to concentrate on just doing doing one so that we're not spread out throughout the year because we're a 100% volunteer organization, so we don't want to be spread too thin. But this is really about celebrating the day. So we do the walk, which is kind of secondary. Um, and we when we do one and everyone gets, to, you know, a lot of people get uh, teams together with the shirts and the families and, the, and the, their crews and things like that. And, and, and we do the walk. But it's really, um, there's lots of activities for the kids. and. Um, uh, you know, beyond the raffles and the merchandise and things like that, it's really just getting the families together. Uh, activities start at 9 a.m. Uh, the walk is at 11, and they're still just show up, as, as Brian said. There's time to get involved. Bring your family down uh, to the field house and get involved. Beyond this one day, which obviously is a focal point and a lot of fun, mm -hmm. what else, what other things that you do throughout the year to, to support families uh, with Down syndrome in our community? That's a great question. Um, well, the money that we raise with this walk actually carries us through the year. And one of the um, main things that we're able to do with it is put materials into hospitals uh, because we can't go into hospitals and contact these people, of course, because of all the, uh, of the, um, of the regulations. But um, what it does is it enables the people at the hospitals to um, talk to the expecting families or new families with, with Down syndrome yeah. and give us a call. And then what we can do is we can connect them with um, a mentorship program called First Call. And what that does is allows them to be in contact with a, fam with a family uh, for a year. And they can be in contact with them as, as much or as little as necessary. And you can speak to that firsthand. Uh, you know, you're married with a child that has Down syndrome. Yeah. Uh, you know what all those moments are like and why this is so important, don't you? It's, it's extremely important because, we you know, we're often uh, we're afraid of what we don't know. So in, not only us as parents, but... The community as well, right. so we're able to take this experience and and and, and hopefully and, and intelligently put it out there to say, hey, look, we understand what this is. We went through, we went through the same thing because that's what they're doing. They're not just talking to a counselor; they're actually talking to a, f a family member with a child with Down syndrome, yeah. and and covering those uncertainties and fears at the very beginning, and hopefully translate that into into the celebration that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, a celebration indeed. As always, great to have you back in studio. And we know the Buddy Walk this year is going to be another success and a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Brian. Uh, again, uh, tomorrow, Gordon Fieldhouse uh, starts at 9, the walk at 11. More information online, fcdsn.com is the website. We're sharing that link on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.